spot in the center. It's going to help a lot. And then I'm patting it. I'm, this is called patting it to the center. See, I'm pressing down. Gently put the clay um, under your hands. See how I've already got slit? This is the clay disintegrating in front of your eyes. This is why you can't do this for two hours on one pot because I won't have a piece of clay there anymore. Um, so I'm gonna take this part of my hands right here and press down, make sure my pot's stuck. Then I'm gonna start using a little bit of energy and I've got my elbows on my knees on my thighs, I'm pressing my thighs in so my legs are actually helping. And uh, I'm using all my strength. Now, I, I had a student once who just couldn't seem to center. I said, use all your strength. And she said, oh, my teacher before you told me don't use all my strength. I said, was he a man? She goes, yeah. <laughs> so men don't need to use all their strength because that's too much. Mm -hmm. Women need to use all their strength. Don't, don't let this little hole develop. I just need to press it back down again. So this is called coning. I'm pushing up. This clay is pretty hard. I'm pushing down. What I want is an igloo shape. I don't know why this chair is so tall, but this is a little chair I use. You wanna switch? No, that's right. Um, so this is the shape you're, you're gonna start with. Take, took me a year to learn how to do that. So when <laughs> oh you get boy. sick of doing that, just call me over and I'll center it for you. That's what I used to do with my teacher in college. Every time she walked by, can you center this for me? Because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I didn't know how to do it. Men are better at it than women because often they know this kind of drill press um, mentality. Do you have a drill press? Yeah. It's just like, it, it just is a, is a tool where you go like this and the drill's here and you go, mm, and mm -hmm. it goes straight. And if it goes crooked, it breaks. If you don't do it the right, right hardness, it breaks. If you do it too hard, it ruins the machine. So this is a machine that's going around in a circle. And if you know how machines like that work, then it's easier. But if it's a complete foreign um, idea, then it takes a little bit longer to figure it out. Uh, so centering is putting all your pressure into the middle and then it automatically centers. If you, if you don't have enough strength, it doesn't, you can't move the clay it doesn't um, center that easily. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with it. It's a pretty big piece of clay. Make sure the bats. I think I have a lump in there. Okay, so now the donut. This is that was sent for all of you. You're gonna break, press harder where the clay is thick, and then press really gently where the clay is thin. So always at the bottom, there's usually a little bit too much clay. squeeze in here at the bottom and then um, I've got my fingers like claw fingers they they match on either side of the clay slowing the wheel down a little bit and I make this angle so it can meet that other side the clay always has to be um, slippery. So the way to get it slippery is to add water. You don't just throw water on it. You just put it uh, a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside. 
and then I'm going to always get all the, the standing water out of the center because that'll make it crack later. So I always want to fix the inside so it looks nice because I'm going to trim the pot later when it's leather hard, drier. And um, I'm not going to trim the inside, so I want the inside to be finished. So now, somehow I'm going to close these. I'm going to close that. It's, a quite a, it's quite a big gap to close. Probably should have practiced this before I videoed it. You got this. <laughs> I close it in, as in you're going to fold it over? Yeah. Oh. Like that? Yeah. Wow. I, had no I had no idea that was I happening. I imagined right. this being totally different. <laughs> Me too. I don't understand. How did you imagine it? I don't Pull know. Pull a vase, poke a hole through it, and then seal yeah. it up. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like chip bowl or something. So I want these two edges to meet. Well. Okay, if you are feeling a little anxiety, then back to it. Slow that wheel down. Oh wow, mm -hmm. right. Oh my. <laughs> Exactly the right shape. When we brought this up, that's not. We're gonna make this. No, you're not. <laughs> you're making. You're making a cat okay. dish. I thought this was a cat dish, and I was like, wow, sophisticated I've never seen cat, a cat dish. dish. Like, what, is it a tiger you're feeding here? <laughs> two different levels. Of... Yeah, you could do like water and food. Well, that didn't work great. Okay, now this handy dandy tool. I want that to be round. That's good enough. Then the metal, the um, wooden knife, I'm just going to take a little bit of this extra clay that I left here on the outside so I don't have to trim that off later. And then this is tricky because I've never really done this on the inside. There's a thing called crystallized knowledge where you don't have to think about it. Your body just knows how to do it. It happens when you've done a thing a million times. Um, so on the outside, I have it because I've done it a million times. But on the inside, I have to actually just use my brain and go, okay, how do you do this again? So you're at that stage where everything is going to be like, how do I do this? And you're not going to have to think about it. It's hard for me to slow down enough to even think about it and tell you about it. Um, let's just use this one more time. And I just want this shape to be just as round as I can get it. And then I'm compressing this uh, that seam as much as I can.
and then when I trim, I'm going when it's leather hard, like your face is over there, I'm going to turn it over and clean up all the extra. So then I'm gonna take the knife, I mean the, the wire, wrap it around my hand so it's not so narrow that I hit it, but it's not so wide that I don't have control of it of it. So I want it to be wider than my pot and not as wide as the bat. So I'm gonna, you can either do it without the wheel going or you can start the wheel real slow and it's gonna, it's gonna yank me around like this. So you gotta pull pressure on your right hand. And I don't go fast. Some people like to whip it through as fast as they can thinking that if they just go fast enough, it'll work, but that doesn't happen. Go slow and controlled. not so hard for everybody later to clean it and then um, I'm gonna sit this am I gonna sit it outside I guess I'm not it's like gonna rain it's a little heavy so that it's gonna look like that okay. tool so you're catching the ribbon and then keep the tool clean so how do you know when, when and where to trim? That's what I was wondering. I kind of remember how I made it, but also the, the edges are going to be um, thicker. So just keep cleaning up a little bit. And then the other way to check is to press it. So right here, if you get that, it, I just made it a little divot in, in it. So it's thin right here. And then when I press this, it's not making a divot. Right here, it's super thin because there's a big crack there. And then it's a little thick there. So I don't have too much to trim. A little bit right here. The piece has to be on uh, in the center. I'm gonna show you stick to the piece. If it's a little bit hard, you're gonna get little chips instead of a ribbon. So there's a, a range of the dryness at which you can trim. The ideal dryness gives the best result. And that is not too hard, not too soft. Um, and then I'm gonna use our, the, the trimming marks. If you like the trimming marks, here, you can leave them. And then gently, somebody cut themselves yesterday on this tool, gently remove the, the clay. I use this kind of bent. These are the pads that are holding it together. I was not expecting that. that. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, so here's how it looks inside. It's pretty good. It looks like it might need a little bit of work in there. Pass that one around. So I think this phase, I think I'll make bottoms for this phase and then have.